quote, the wind tells me I'm a ghost. One of the major revelations that has come out of the billion dollar defamation lawsuit between the Dominion voting systems and Fox News is that the basis for some of Trump lawyer Sidney Powell's election fraud claims was one email from a woman who believed she talked to, quote, the wind. Politics reporter Will Summer of the Daily Beast tracked down that woman who sent the wind email and got an interview. And as this woman puts it, yeah, I'm crazy, crazy like a fox. This woman, whose email was used by Trump's legal team as if it was hard evidence, told the Daily Beast she is an artist who makes, quote, what she calls cactus art using glitter and crystals, which, by the way, sounds amazing. Where can I get some? She said she got her ideas about election fraud from, quote, hidden messages she detects in film and song lyrics she hears on the radio, and that she has an elaborate theory that the CIA controls the Washington Post, the FBI runs the New York Times, and the State Department runs Politico and CNN. Again, all of this conjured out of the wind, or perhaps more formally, thin air. And look, I do not mean to cast aspersions on this woman. She has the exact vibe of someone I want to buy cactus art from. Seriously, please send me a link. I will buy that cactus art. But what makes this woman's email important is not that she clearly had no real sources. It's that the president's lawyer and Fox News could see that, and they ran with these allegations anyway. On November 7th at 6 p.m., Sidney Powell forwarded this wind woman's email to Fox News host Maria Bartiromo. The very next day, Bartiromo had Sidney Powell on her show to talk about it. And the claims Sidney Powell made that day were huge. There has been a massive and coordinated effort to steal this election from we, the people of the United States of America, to delegitimize and destroy votes for Donald Trump, to manufacture votes for Joe Biden. But it wasn't just Sidney Powell putting allegations from that wind email out. Check this out. This is the actual wind email talking about Dominion voting systems. Quote, don't you find it curious that Nancy Pelosi's longtime chief of staff is a key executive there and that Richard Blum, Senator Feinstein's husband, is a significant shareholder in that company? I want you to focus on these three key phrases from that email. Pelosi's longtime chief of staff, key executive, and the idea that Senator Feinstein's husband is a, quote, significant shareholder of Dominion stock. Now watch Maria Bartiromo on her show on Fox News the day after getting that email. I also see reports that Nancy Pelosi's longtime chief of staff is a key executive at that company, Richard Blum, Senator Feinstein's husband, significant shareholder of the company. What can you tell us about the interest on the other side of this Dominion software? Everything Maria Bartiromo just said is wrong. Nancy Pelosi's former chief of staff was not a key executive at Dominion. Senator Dianne Feinstein's husband has no financial connection to Dominion. A lawyer for Dominion said their discovery process didn't turn up any documents used by any member of Maria Bartiromo's staff that mentioned Dominion before this segment, other than this wind email. In Bartiromo's own deposition, she was unable to point to any other source for Sidney Powell's ideas. Now, Fox has called Dominion's lawsuit against them an effort to silence the press. But repeating unverified claims verbatim is not journalism. It is crazy. Crazy like a fox.